All right, today because of coronavirus, we are preparing for our departmental um, academic fair and I'm meeting with two of our biologists right now. This is Dr. Victor Townsend and this is Dr. Phil Rock. Uh, Phil, can you tell me about uh, the microbiology and molecular biology portion of the biology major? Absolutely. Um, I teach uh, microbiology and cell biology as well as genetics and uh, genetics and either micro or cell are, are required in our upper level sequence for the biology major, uh, both of which are uh, appropriate for students considering a health sciences or uh, in any other health uh, careers, uh, careers related uh, 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 <laughs> career, I guess. <laughs> okay. And for organismal biology? We have a very strong tradition of organismal biology here at Virginia Wesleyan University. Our third class in the sequence for the major is biodiversity of life, which I teach in laboratories along with Dr. Eric Johnson. Uh, in addition to that, we also require upper level classes in eco ecology and in organismal integrative biology. And those include classes like physiology, anatomy, uh, and other diversity based classes. So, can you tell me a little bit more about undergraduate research? Undergraduate research and experience learning are vital parts of our major. Both the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science major here at Virginia Wesleyan require either an internship or undergraduate research prior to graduation to complete the biology degree. And how about internships? Internships are also a, a, a vital part of our, of our program. Um, and, uh, most students who uh, uh, look for an internship are looking for something that will uh, um, complement uh, their studies or perhaps give them a, a, um, an idea of what they may be getting into when they move on from here. Okay, and can you tell us about some of the special facilities ava available to our biology majors? Uh, well, we have a, an extremely well-equipped uh, introductory biology lab. Uh, and we also have, uh, uh, thanks to Dr. Townsend, we have a scanning electron microscope facility. Our other cell and molecular biologist, Dr. Eric Johnson, has uh, very modern molecular biology equipment, including a real-time reverse transcriptase uh, PCR machine. All right. And the confocal laser microscope. Not to forget. Yes, yeah. Indeed. Lots of opportunities if students want to learn about microscopy or do field research. Uh, Vic, can you tell us about some of your work in Central America? Yeah, so I study daddy long legs, otherwise known as harvestmen. Um, they don't transmit diseases, they're not poisonous, so no one really cares about them. So there's a lot to do with them. We know very little about their natural history and biology. So I take students, usually with a colleague or two, down to Central America or sometimes the Caribbean, and we do research down there. We take the animals back to the laboratory here, and we do their anatomical studies as well. All right. And Phil, can you tell us about some of the other research that's going on, your own, as well as some of the marine biologists? Uh, absolutely. I, uh, my research is kind of all over the map. I uh, specialize in, um, in, in fungi and mycology. However, lately I've been looking at the microbiome and, and, and even more lately, the virome that we find in the, the vermicompost. We have a vermicomposting facility on campus. Our marine biologist, Dr. Soraya Barto, uh, has worked with marine mammals as well as uh, 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 t aquatic turtles, uh, looking at the effect of uh, sound and sound disruption on how that's affecting their behavior. And Deirdre, our, our invertebrate invert zoologist, is really a specialist in, uh, um, in, in mollusks, particularly nudibranchs. Which are sea slugs. Yes, they are sure. Okay. All right. Any other things the two of you would like to add? Uh, I urge all our students to take advantage of opportunities in the area, including not only wonderful internship opportunities, but also we have the Ocean Explorer a research vessel in association with Virginia Aquarium that our classes use extensively in the environmental concentration as well as in the intro sequence. And can you tell them about our two science buildings? Uh, yeah, so we're sitting here in the wonderful new ecology lab in the uh, Greer Environmental Sciences Center. This is where our upper level ecology, marine biology, uh, and um, uh, oceanography, sometimes we use animal behavior and physiology as well. And then next door in Blocker Hall, 
we have the microbiology, general biology labs, and also some undergraduate research facilities. And anatomy and physiology. And anatomy and physiology, absolutely. So, all right. Uh, thank you both for your time. Thank you. You're very